Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. So in this video, we will be discussing the comparison between Chebyshev filter and Butterworth filter. So these are the very important filters which you have to, to study in digital signal processing subject. A lot of people was actually requesting me to do videos on DSP for completing the entire syllabus. Actually, most of the important topics are already been uploaded into the playlist. So this is again another important topic. So we are actually going to start studying the design of Chebyshev filter. So before that, you should be knowing what is the difference between Butterworth and Chebyshev. So that's why I've uploaded this video. Okay, so in this video, you'll be finding all the major differences and the comparison between Chebyshev filter and Butterworth filter. So let's see the comparison between Chebyshev and Butterworth filter. So in this video, we are going to discuss the comparison between Chebyshev filter and Butterworth filter. So we have already done the videos on uh, Butterworth filter design. That is the videos for finding the order, for finding, for drawing the magnitude response and also finally designing a Butterworth filter. And now we are going to study the design of Chebyshev filter. But before that, in this video, we will be discussing the classific the comparison between the this Chebyshev filter and Butterworth filter. Okay, both of these filters are analog filters and which can be used for the design of digital filters. Okay. Now, what is the, the similarities and what are the differences between these two filters? So, the main difference is in the magnitude response. Now, I am going to draw the magnitude response for a Chebyshev filter. The magnitude response of Butterworth, Butterworth filter we have already discussed in the video. But anyway, I will draw it for you. Okay, so if you draw the magnitude response of a Butterworth filter, sorry, a Chebyshev filter, it will be like this. So this is a low pass filter, okay, low pass Chebyshev filter this is. So it will be passing the lower frequencies and it will cut off the higher frequencies. So this is H of J omega and this is omega or ohm, that is angular frequencies okay which is it radians per second okay now this is the pass band edge frequency and from here the stop band starts so I'm going to mark the bands so this is the pass band and this is the stop band. This is ohm s which is the stop band edge frequency. This is ohm p which is the pass band edge frequency. I hope you can see it. Okay. So this is ohm p and this is ohm s. Now this is the magnitude response for a Chebyshev filter. And if you draw the magnitude response for a Butterworth filter, you will get a graph like this. Okay, so somewhat similar to this. Low pass filter again, it will only pass the lower frequencies, it will cut off the higher frequencies. Okay, now here again, there is pass bandage frequency and if this is stop bandage frequency, then this is ohm P and this is ohm S. Okay, so this is ohm radians per second this is h j o okay so if you analyze the magnitude responses of these two filters you can see that for a Chebyshev filter the magnitude response is having a ripples see here there is ripples but here the magnitude response is decreasing monotonically that means there is no ripple ripple means wave like structure okay so that is called rippling for Chebyshev filter there is ripples in the pass band and sometimes in the stop band we'll discuss about that later but just know that there is ripples in the magnitude response but here there is no ripples you cannot see any ripple it is just monotonically decreasing as the omega or ohm is increasing as a frequency angular frequency is increasing it is monotonically decreasing so that is the main or the important difference 
when you see the magnitude response for a Chebyshev filter there is ripples for Butterworth filter there is no ripples okay also so that is the first difference ripples in magnitude response then second no ripple but it is monotonically decreasing okay so that is the first comparison in which is in the magnitude response the second one is that if you see the transition from the pass band to stop band so in between if you see here i'll use a different color see this is the transition gap or the transition band that is the band in between the pass band and the stop band there is some place or some space right in between this ohm p and ohm s that is nothing but the transition band the transition band or the transition space is less for Chebyshev if you see here it is less but it is more for a Butterworth filter so that is the second difference okay the transition band is less for a Chebyshev but for Butterworth it is more transition band is more okay so that is the second difference the third one is that if you observe the poles of a Chebyshev filter that while uh, designing a filter you need to analyze the poles and zeros right so when you see the poles of a Chebyshev filter the poles are lying on an elliptical structure okay the poles will lie on an elliptical structure for a Chebyshev filter okay poles lie on ellipse whereas for the case of a Butterworth filter the poles are lying on a circle poles lie on circle okay so when you are designing a Chebyshev filter this point is very important why because when you are actually designing a Chebyshev filter you need to find the values of poles and also you need to find the the axis of this ellipse there is a major axis and there is a minor axis so this is the major axis and this is a minor axis and when the major axis and minor axis length is same we call it as a circle right so when you are designing a Chebyshev filter you actually need to find the value of the major axis and the minor axis A okay so this point is very important so that is the third difference then the fourth one is that the order of a Chebyshev filter is less as compared to the Butterworth generally the order is less than Butterworth okay BW means Butterworth and also here the order is more than Chebyshev okay so that is another difference or the fourth difference so the fifth difference is that in order to design a Chebyshev filter we require lesser number of discrete components than that of a Butterworth filter okay so fifth one less number of components whereas for a Butterworth filter we require more number of components for the design okay so that is the fifth difference so we have discussed all major differences or major comparison between the Chebyshev and the Butterworth filter. Now if you see a Chebyshev filter, there are two types of Chebyshev filters, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 and type 2. Okay, the type 1 Chebyshev is the most commonly used type, whereas type 2 is not very commonly used. Now the main difference between these two, that is type 1 and type 2 is that, 
for a type 1 you can find the ripples in the pass band it will be like this okay here this is the if you see the larger image this is the pass band this is the stop band okay so the ripples are present in the pass band for a type 1 shebishiv whereas for a type 2 shebishiv it will be like this in the pass band it will be monotonically decreasing there will be ripples in the stop band okay so this is the main difference between the type 1 and the type 2 so in this video we have discussed mainly about the comparison between Chebyshev filter and Butterworth filter so both the filters can be used as frameworks for designing of digital filters so for a Chebyshev filter you can find ripples in the magnitude response whereas for Butterworth it is not a rippling type it is it is decreasing monotonically that is a magnitude response is monotonically decreasing you should be able to identify from the magnitude response that which filter it is if it is having ripples then it is Chebyshev if it is not having ripples then it is Butterworth so that is a major difference then if you observe the transition band that is the space or the band in between the pass band and the stop band you can find that the space is more the transition band is more for Butterworth less for Chebyshev also if you see the poles the poles of a Chebyshev are lying on an ellipse in this ellipse the poles will be lying for a Butterworth it is lying on a circle also the order of Chebyshev filter is less than the, uh, that of the Butterworth and the number of components hence required is also less okay so this is the main comparison between Chebyshev filter and Butterworth filter so in the upcoming videos we will be dis discussing how to design a Chebyshev filter so we have already discussed uh, I think three or four months before how to design a Butterworth filter and now we are going to design a Chebyshev filter because I was actually receiving a lot of requests to do the Chebyshev filter design so here it is we will be de uh, designing the Chebyshev filter in the upcoming videos okay so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and